Yo, what is up guys? Too new for you to handle it today. I have the best thing to ever exist. That's right, today I'm going to be going over the best advanced warfare class setup. That's right, you heard me. The best advanced warfare class setup. The game's not even out, and I have the best advanced warfare class setup. All the pros are going to be using this. I can already see it with my own eyes. The pros are going to be using this like nothing other. So uh, today we're going to be talking about the uh, advanced warfare creative class system. And this is a pretty flexible setup because not only is it very, very good and fun and very, 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 very effective, but it'll also allow you to have some flexibility at the end because you'll still have a couple points to spend for whatever you want at the same time still doing that effective job that you want it to do. And this setup actually includes a bunch of different things that you wouldn't normally see on some MLG tryhard setup. We're actually going to be using Danger Close. That is right, Danger Close, a new kind of fan favorite, I guess you could say, that's coming back into this game. And here it is. It is. There we go. Boom. Danger Close. That is right. That is going to be your first perk. Now, on the way, I'm going to have a, a number at the top left of the screen that's going to tell you, or the bottom right somewhere, that's going to be telling you um, how many points are being used in the class. So, first of all, we're going to start with Danger Close perk, which will be very effective, increasing your explosive damage. Then, for your second perk, we're going to be going to use Gung Ho. This will allow you to be shooting while running so you can get those maneuvers around corners if you need to. Because we all know that to be a tryhard and be really good at the game, you need to have as many advantages as possible, and this is one of them. Finally, we're going for Toughness. This perk, as said by Michael Condry himself, one of the game producers, says it won't be effective and it won't be a crutch perk. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, when it comes to those noob tube shots and those explosive shots, you need all the shot ability that you can get. So you're going to be on target as much as you possibly can. Next, we're going to the primary gun. So, you're going to use any primary assault rifle, but here you can see that there's going to be the grenade launcher attachment on it. Now you're saying, grenade launcher attachment, that's right, that's going to cost another point for you. So now, we have a primary, three perks, and a grenade launcher attachment. Now we're going on to the secondary weapon. Now, technically, the game, in the beta phase, has not have a confirmed launcher. But, as we can see, that the launcher car category has been confirmed, and there's a stinger rocket, so maybe... There will be an option to uh, make it non-lock on, but we'll see. But there are launchers in the game. Next, we're going to be using our Semtex grenades. That's right, Semtex grenades. Good old-fashioned sticky grenades. But don't forget, we're going to have times two, so that'll cost two points in the end. So, we're about to be going on to the next thing, which is the Bombarder wild card. Now, this wild card will actually allow you to have two explosive slots so, this is going to be really helpful in the end, because now you have your two Semtexts, and now you can add either one frag grenade, which is just like any other normal frag grenade in any other Call of Duty, which very effective, but do mind me that you have to cook it, and uh, sometimes it can roll around and mess up. But there's also the new explosive drone. Now, this baby is just as bad as an ID. You throw it on the ground, wall, wherever you want. An enemy walks by, and it flies out from wherever you threw it, and runs after the enemy and kills them. Almost like a mini hunter-killer drone. But next, what I want to show you guys is the UAV. Now, this is going to be your final thing on your creative class. The UAV will actually allow you to customize it. Now, this means you can use the UAV with the base 400, but add extra attachments onto it. Now, in this class... You're going to use all the attachments. Now you're saying, what? Why would you use all the attachments? Well, I'm going to tell you why you're going to use all the attachments. You're going to use all the attachments because this means you're going to have the most overpowered UAV to ever exist. Now, let's just start off by explaining all these attachments. First, you're going to have the extra assist points attachment for 150 extra score. Then you're going to have the scrambler attachment, which makes it a UAV. I mean, a county UAV, sorry. For 200 extra points. Extra time attachment, which means it'll last longer, 100 extra points. The speed attachment, which makes it swipe faster, 100 extra points. Enemy direction, shows them as mini triangles, 100 extra, 200 extra points. Threat detection, shows the enemies like threat grenades through walls and stuff like that, 300 points. Orbital VSAT, which shows them at all times, 
300 extra points. And then support for 300 extra points allows you to have this kill streak be a support streak. That is correct, a support streak. No more will you have to stay alive for all your streaks. Now with the UAV, you'll have all this for only 2,050 score. That's right, if you're playing a normal TDM game, that's only going to be 21 kills. But don't forget you can die, which is very good for this setup because now, once you run out of explosives, there's no need to have to stay alive. You can just die and respawn, allowing you to get grenades and explosives back. It's the best setup you could possibly use, and to be honest, I'm pretty excited for it. So, in total, we're going to be using about 11 points total. So, that means you have two points left on your create a class. This means you have some flexibility. You can add any perks you feel are better. But in the overall count, you're only going to need what I just showed you. So you could add two extra streaks. You could add an extra perk. You could add, um, that's about it. That's all you can add. But you know what? It's a very good setup, and I can tell you guys right now that uh, I'm going to see all the MLGs use it. And uh, to be honest gonna be the most overpowered setup you'll ever see but uh that's about all i can say for you guys today i'm too new for you in handle and this was advanced warfare pro tips and tricks cool setup thing blah 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 and i'll see you guys next time